Well, hey guys, uh, today I got a new piece of equipment. Um, it is a CNC plasma cutting table and uh, we're gonna unbox it, see what it looks like. I'm super excited. Uh, this is from Premier Plasma. Uh, awesome company so far. Uh, the guy was really cool, answered all my questions and uh, sounds like the support is gonna be there. So I'm excited to see what this looks like. Here is the water pan and uh, it's just bare metal. Um, I'm gonna paint the outside of this. I just don't want it to start looking like crap and rusting and uh, especially with some water in it. Um, the other thing I'm thinking about doing is putting a drain hole in the bottom with some pipe fittings to, to drain it so I can drain it every so often just to make it a little bit easier. But for right now I'm gonna spray some epoxy primer on the outside. Did get this epoxy primered just on the bottom side so cleans it up a lot better. Um, I just like everything painted up nice. You guys know that, everything's painted. So we got all the tools needed here to do it. I've got the legs and I got the bottom, or well, the top rails on this set here. So I'm gonna start assembling those and I also have the bag of bolts. This all mounted up and I did end up cutting some square tube to go underneath this thing um, because I'm going to put some casters under it and then some uh, locks that you lift up on. But I don't have those here yet. But I got the frame bolted. Um, I did mess up and I didn't mount these on the inside for the water pan. I, I, yeah, I read it a few times but didn't quite get the grasp of that till after I start putting it together, but it was all right. I switched it around, easy fix. I got these mounted. So the holes on the front are the lower two and the holes on the sides are the upper two. And the, the reason why I did that with these flipped around is I'm gonna use that square tube to come up and rest up against the bottom of those mounts. And this makes a nice flat surface here. So I think I could, actually put a shelf in here is what the plan is so I can utilize this space and maybe store some material in here. It's coming along really nicely. I'm going to start attaching these rails on the sides here, uh, get the bolts figured out. So cool. got the cart done that goes underneath the table. I'm gonna tack weld it to the table and then eventually bolt it to the table from the base. But uh, I did leave a couple little bare spots to tack it to and I've kinda took some of the powder coating off the edges of the rails here, you can kinda see. I'm just gonna lay this right over the top and uh, this is gonna be a really good base cause my floor in my garage isn't perfectly even. So, and you can tell that by us rocking here, so. Um, but this will definitely give it enough stability to handle what we need it to do. And then I have some uh, floor lock uh, pedals that are gonna mount here and here in four spots to stabilize it when I'm cutting. I'm gonna get that lifted on and mounted on here. and. mounted on this cart. I just gotta touch up a couple of the spots with some spray paint where I welded it to the cart. And then I've also put these self-tapping bolts in here for now. And uh, just tell I can put some bigger bolts in it later once I know it's we're solid, but we are square. We're good to go. 
and this gives a really nice heavy base for it so cool right now I'm putting some shelves in here I got some angle iron I'm bolting in these holes right here um, I got still this piece in that end to do I wanted to show you what I was doing right at the moment so you understood and then I'm trying to make a spot here for this controller to sit under here so it's gonna mount under the shelf and then the plasma cutter next to it. Guys, I got the table all together. I did do a couple modifications to it, like putting it on wheels. I did add this second shelf here to add some material. And then I also put this shelf in down here along with the divider down here and uh, there's a drain. The divider is just to kind of block off where the hypotherm's gonna sit. Um, it's a pretty big space, but I I wanted the curve on these Cables to be really smooth. So it's not kinking or anything um, And I just got some material. I have not turned it on yet the other thing I did is add this box here. I mounted the all the processors in here the and uh, for their drive motors um, So that's just sitting in here. I got a little lug ordered for right here for these Cables to come out. They're just a USB. So they just plug into this cover just to kind of clean it up There'll be two little lugs. that will come out of that um, So that'll make it nice and then I'll put my power strip. I also Have a fan to put in here still um, But just kind of wanted to walk you through what I've done just a couple changes I I just wanted to keep the table all uniform. So all I got to do is plug in the USBs. I got a mess going on here. I was just kind of playing around with a file, but uh, super cool. There's the cover for it. And then this is the drain back here. So, and then that just comes right through here. And then I'm going to put a 45 right here, but that way I can drain it into a bucket or whatever. Um, but yeah, and then I got all my wiring that's run and, uh, Plasma ran right along the bottom here. It kind of loops up here The one thing I don't like is how these just kind of dangle right here um, I'm gonna build something for this probably a loop that comes down that holds all these wires in a lump so It's just kind of it. They keep kind of falling and I don't know. I don't know what that was about, but that's Let's see how she works. I'm going to power it up and see what happens. So, this is my first cut. Turned out amazing. Decided to make this differential cover. Um, ran great. Settings are awesome. Love this machine. Can't wait to build more. But hey, guys, hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.